The renewed Uganda Pressure Group, headed by presidential aspirant Lieutenant General Henry Tumukunde, has launched its executive committee that will steer the activities of the organization. The committee will be chaired by Omal Kalinge Nyago, who will be deputized by Anit Nyakecho, the MP for Tororo North. While unveiling the group, the chief of staff, Beatrice Tilaso, said, This is to show Ugandans that General Tumukunde is not alone. This struggle is not one of an individual. It is a struggle of a well-organized team brought together by their aspiration to bring a peaceful change in Uganda's government. She said their candidate faces uncertainty from the security agencies so they will run the activities of the organization in his absentia. We fear for our presidential candidate. We fear because the way things are progressing, we do not know how far these trumped up charges are going to go. We are in the middle of intimidation, but as she said, life will continue. We are going to push the struggle forward regardless. Tumukunde said the events that are taking place in the country reminded him of the 1980s. We feel very, 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 very offended, abused actually and dehumanized that in circumstances where we spent our lives, some of us, our bodies, trying to really restabilize this country and give it formidable comfort where all views can be expressed, we continue to be obstacles. Meanwhile, the Forum for Democratic Change says they have started the process of rectifying what went wrong during the party primaries in all regions. There have been some friction here and there. So we decided as a party to send out senior leaders to talk to those people who may have been aggrieved during the primaries. The people who want to become presidential flag bearers will be expected to return the nomination forms between Tuesday and Wednesday this week. Jumakiria. NTV.